Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Pocophone F1 and as rightly mentioned yesterday, we are talking about Lineage OS 18.1. Now before we even begin, if you want to know how to install it, go to the comment section, smash that like and let me know I should make a video or not on how to install it. But this is a quick preview, this is not a review, I've just installed it an hour back, I've installed a couple of benchmark applications, the experience so far has been great on the Pocophone F1 and it looks like this is going to be yet another great ROM especially the lineage that Lineage OS carries, the history that this ROM has, I'm really, really excited. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you have a link to our Telegram community. Please join us there and support us to get a thousand members. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so first things first, we are on the home screen. So let's actually begin with the system info and see what all information we have. Now remember, this is Android 11. This is official Lineage OS 18.1 for this particular device and it is very, very exciting. So if we go to About Phone and if we look at the Android version, you do see that Lineage OS API is Llama, Android version is 11. It is a nightly build for Beryllium. The security patch is the 5th of March and everything looks great. So this is the build number. This is where you can keep tapping and build date and stuff like that. So going forward, if you actually go back and go to system, you have a lot of options. But before we get into all of that, let's actually start with the home screen. Now, what do we have here? Press and hold on the home screen, go to home settings. You have allow edit notification dots home screen rotation and all the basic stuff. You don't have the about information. You can add a custom icon pack, but nothing much there. Now, in fact, what I've also noticed is to the left, you don't really have the option of Google feed. So, you know, you might want to go ahead and add another launcher or something like that. But when you look at this, there are very few applications that I have actually gone ahead and installed. For example, Antutu, 3D Mark and Geekbench. I've not ran 3D Mark yet, but there will be a gaming review coming on this. So you do have a recorder, you have a very, very basic camera application, which does the basic job of clicking pictures, no portrait mode, nothing fancy over there. Now, if we have a look at the quick tiles, now before we actually move on to the quick tiles, what you will also notice is the smoothness. It's very, very subtle, very, very smooth. You can go ahead and edit this and you do have a ton of options that you can actually add. So you do have a ton of tiles over here. FPS is not there, but that's okay. You do have a built-in screen recorder, which is a great thing. And the moment you click on it, you do get an option to record internal and external audio. So that is great. We can actually go ahead and test this. We will test this in uh, the gaming review, of course, but if we click on start, the screen recording has started and everything is still running butter smooth. So don't worry. I mean, I don't see any lags or anything else at all. So we can actually go ahead and tap to stop the screen recording and it will be saved to the gallery and stuff like that. Now, moving on, you do have a built-in gallery just like old Cyanogen mod days. If you've been using Android custom ROMs for a very, very long time, you do know what Cyanogen mod was and it shows in Lineage OS, especially with these Android 10 gestures, you know, which, yeah, I'm stuck there. Ignore that. So it's it's working butter smooth, you know, not a hell lot of customization there, not many things to worry about, not too complicated. That is what Cyanogen Mod and Lineage OS has been from day one. See, even if you go to network and internet over here, you do have Wi-Fi calling and all the basic options. You do have advanced options and say, if you go to Wi-Fi, sorry, the phone is dropping there. Yes, yeah, stay there. So I'm connected to this Wi-Fi. I have the option to disconnect. I do have advanced options. So basically all Android 11 options are there, right? And if you go to the multitasking menu over here, right? You do have the screenshot option. You can share, edit. So basically some things that you saw in the Pixel 5 ROM, which were basically Android 11 
exclusive features and stuff like that they are still there and they are working just fine now moving on to settings you have connected devices a separate menu for bluetooth and all the other devices and in battery you do have thermal profiles so that is a good thing you do have the last full charge battery light battery manager battery saver and performance you do have the extreme power saver mode so that is added as well something that is really really neat moving on we go to display you do have live display adaptive brightness you do have the dark theme over here and a ton of options like you know full screen apps font size display size that is a dpi changer and stuff like that and apart from this if you actually go to system you do have status bar customization quick pull down you can show seconds in the clock and you can show the text instead of the battery you can select what type of a battery icon you want and you do have different types of system profile and you go to buttons you can customize buttons so basically you know i've not experienced any force close i've not experienced any major major bugs which would stop me from saying that you should go ahead and try this now remember i flashed this from orange fox recovery you can actually go ahead and use the recovery that lineage os provides and you should be good to go in fact by using that you should be able to use the inbuilt updater as well now towards the end of the video what i would like to share is the benchmark numbers so if we go to antutu over here it did score a not so high not so low decent 400 and 5707 now this i believe is antutu version 9 so cpu was 93054 gpu was 16420 memory was 7611 and ux was 81622 so pretty decent there nothing to worry even in geekbench we did get a okay okay score because i did run geekbench after running antutu so we got a single core of 496 and a multi core of 2089 now i know that is low but trust me i am going to install pubg on this i will be gaming on this and i will be doing a gaming review let me know in the comment section how soon you want to see a gaming review and do you want me to review this rom for you guys or not for now that is it for the quick preview of lineage os 18.1 for the pocophone f1 until the next one this is kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye